Hello my friends, it's Brooms here and welcome back to the channel and today we are starting a new series where we are going to explore each objective in the maps of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, how to do them and more importantly, what are my favorite tactics when going for those exits. In all four maps you have all four same objectives. You've got a generator powering an exit gate, you've got a car battery powering another exit gate, you've got a basement exit powered by a fuse box and you've got a pressure gate exit powered by a pressure pump. Something to consider for each objective is if the generator is switched off the family members get an audio notification if the valve gets switched on they hear the noise of it if the basement exit gets powered up and open everyone in the map sees the highlight of it the only exit that is completely quiet is the car battery that is if the family members don't have the one perk that notifies them if a gate has been opened but by then you'll be gone i'll be telling you how many lock picks you need to access each exit but bear in mind that if the cook is in the map all of that could change also if you don't know where things are i have made a post with all the maps in the locations of everything previously if you missed it i'll put the link down in the description and finally a little disclaimer i'm not claiming these are the best approaches for everyone these are the best tactics that suit my play style i'm not the best player far from that but i do like to have some fun and get things done to max hp gain and also help out my fellow victims so it's totally fine if you guys don't agree with some of these in fact i would love to hear what is your approach when doing each objective today we are exploring the family house map first one car battery exit this is the one exit that is always the same same on the map. Save from the fact that the battery can be on a different car. They're not very far from each other at all, so it really doesn't matter. One little difference, however, that I get from match to match is that at times a chicken will spawn right next to the exit. So if you're there, they'll know you're there because the chicken is going off. So you might want to have a bone shard to kill that chicken just in case. What you need for this one is three lock picks, one for basement, one for house front door or rear gate, and one for the exit gate, and then to switch off the car battery. When getting to car battery, you should pick the lock first because that can't be reset and then do the car battery after if the coast is clear once it's open if your teammates are still in the map wait for grandpa to scream and then move to get their attention towards the car battery that will take at least one killer out of the game as they will want to come by and switch the car battery back on giving your teammates time to do the other objectives generator exit when doing this objective, all you need to do is two lockpicks, one for basement and one for front door or rear garden, and then kick the generator. But depending where the generator is, you will want to change strats. If the generator is in front of the house closest to the main exit, you could try and sneak out through the bushes kick it and then run for the exit. This is the kind of I'm opening my own exit exit. If the generator is at the barn on the side of the house, then you're most likely creating a diversion or opening the exit to someone else. It is very tricky to run all the way to the exit from there, but it's not impossible if you have the right perks on that will boost your stamina regen or give you a second wind. You could always kick that gen and go for another exit. Let one of your teammates escape and while family is busy switching power back on or trying to chase your teammate, you're already on something else. Valve and pump. Okay, so we have three pump locations in this map for you to fit in the valve. One is in the side garden, one in the exterior by the side of the house near a fence, and one in the rear garden. They're all quite risky to be honest and I tend to use the valve scape as a diversion rather than anything else. So first you obviously need a valve which can be in multiple locations in the map and I will check the map in the description below for the valve locations. If there's a valve upstairs you're only gonna need one lockpick but if the valves are outside then you're obviously gonna need two lockpicks. If the pump is in the side garden, your best escape from there is to open the side door to the front of the house. If killers are on the way to the valve exit, just use it as a distraction to continue to open locks and work on a different exit. Or you could try your luck and see if you can just barge through two killers or more on your way to the exit. If the pump is on the exterior next to the house, then you have better chances of making a run for the valve exit if you can sneak your way to that exit. Make sure you have perks that will boost your stamina to ensure you can get there. If the pump is in the rear garden, then again you're opening this to someone else most likely. Create a diversion and then go and open another exit somewhere else. Your best bet then is the car battery, since you're already close by. But beware, family members are likely to come and check the car battery afterwards as they'll be closed anyway. Now basement exit is probably the easiest exit in this map and I have probably escaped via the basement exit more times on this map than any other way. All you need here after using one lockpick on the basement 
door is a spare lockpick to open the fuse box and then you obviously need a fuse. There are only three fuse box locations and they're all upstairs and they're easy to find. The fuse like the valve you can find in different locations in the map but the fuse themselves are all inside the house. There's even one upstairs near the fuse boxes. I'm not gonna be showing you where the fuses or the valves are, just check them on the maps below. The best way up from the basement towards the fuse boxes is through the rear porch staircase which leads to the side guard. Double back once you're up and go up another level and then find the fuse box. Do your mats to power the fuse and once that's done, simply head back to the basement exactly the same way you came in. Take a right and you will see you are in the fuse box tunnel and then stick to the right until you reach the exit. From the time you power the fuse box to the exit itself, it probably takes about 10 seconds. And these were my favorite tactics on how to do the objectives at the family house. Please do let me know down in the comments what tactics do you use mostly when doing these objectives. I would really love to hear them. And here's a big shout out to the very first member to the channel, Praise Jeebus, who's been an absolute legend in helping me bring this community together. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, please do so. Link is down in the description. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and drop me a like. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.